Hello again from my front porch. Welcome to episode six of my eight part series of conversations with, with, with Coco. <laughs> I almost messed up the name because it's part of what we're focusing on today. Uh, but by, Coco Dolans is the sister of Mickey Dolans of the monkeys, uh, who, who I got to see uh, in, perform, uh, in performance last year up in Minnesota. Not just Mickey and Mike, but Coco herself, who is a background singer in, in, for, for the band and actually took this photo that's on the cover of the album. Uh, and, and it's a great album, but, but Coco herself is a great lady. And today, today th this episode, we're going to talk a little bit more about Gemma which is her actual name, Gemma Dolans. And we're gonna hear about Gemma and our topic today is the treasure of Gemma. Enjoy. So, so I, back, back, back to, to Gemma. Um, so I've got Dolan's your Etsy Delights. store. There you go. Dolan's Delights, there it is. And, yeah. and been, been on Etsy since 2013. Um, yep. and, 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 you know, so it's got the other, but, but you go out there and there's a whole bunch of stuff. We were, we were talking about some of the music that you've got out there, which, <laughs> yeah. which I highly recommend. Um, it's, 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 I mean, it's absolutely fantastic music. I, uh, I, I, you know, my playlist isn't very long <laughs> because it's only the, the, the two albums. I'm waiting for the third one that, that, that was in there too. Uh, yeah. but, but, uh, but I mean, it's, it's, it's just great stuff. And as we were talking about, I, 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 this past week with events going on here since the George Floyd mm -hmm. event in Minneapolis and now all the protests and riots and, and all of that that's going on, all that angst around those things. Um, mm -hmm. uh, there, there's so many of the songs that I, that are in that playlist that I have from you that, that just resonate so strongly with, with, mm -hmm. with the things down. So that I, I, that I find it really powerful to listen to, nice. but I also ordered some other things from there too. Cause you, you have some other items too. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, <laughs> I was trying to figure out how I could say this so that it would, it would be a funny line. I couldn't, I can't figure out how the staging, uh, you know, how, how to set it up, but I was, I was going to, yeah. I was going to make, I was going to make a comment about, about how, you know, I paid money so that I was able to, you know, have your chest right here. Um, and then be like, okay, all you, all you, all you naughty people, get your mind out of the gutter. It's this, this, this treasure chest thing here. This is, this is yeah, it right I love here. So, um. Everyone, you know why I started doing treasure chests? I do small ones, I do big ones, I do them all different. You know, like I said, I'll, I'll post a picture and go, you can order this. But the truth is, I'll probably make it different. I love the whole concept and the whole symbology of treasure chests. Because I think we, and again, this goes to, this is more Gemma. I think we're all treasures. I think we all have a treasure to share. I think that if if people really, and, and they've been doing it recently, having to stay home and all that, they're discovering, wow, I can do this. I can make this, or I can clean out my, you know, being creative, you know, and I think everyone, it's not just art. It's not just singing, you know, that's, there's so many different ways of being creative, but I think we're all treasure chests. And I think that, you know, there's that old saying, where your heart is, there lies your treasure. So I try to, I like treasure chest because it's just like just a little reminder of how precious we are and how precious we can be, you know. Well, now th so. this, this little treasure chest, you were telling me that this is a, this is a unique one that, that, that uh, everyone has I one make like this. Unique. No, no, no. That's absolutely that, unique. Everyone is unique. And, and, and it's even signed. Yes. See, it's signed, of signed course. by the artist right there. Yeah. Um, there you go. But inside, inside we got the seashells. There at the top. Yeah, those are California seashells, by the way, and some like little Im imitation pearl things. Yep. Yeah. Imported and then I California. find different. Yeah. And then, and then, then I find papers and things to like, you know, I, I think I uh, had um, I like that marketed that one. Yeah. I think I had, had said, you know, as we go out of this COVID-19 thing, people will be traveling again and you'll want a place to put your little thingies that you find when you travel and you can put them in your box. Well, and so then I also got a necklace there. I think it, it was giving me an error message when I was trying to get it. It was, it was alerting me mm. that I think maybe this was the last one, at least for now. It is. Ma 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 it is, it is the last one. So, I only but, had but, a few of them. So, Go so I, I've got I, I've got this just so people can see. I got this. It's a necklace. Oh, it's blurry. Mm -hmm. They can't. I can't. I can't hold it. Anyway, love it has, is the ultimate. Love is the have, ultimate trick. I have, and I have the last. 
one of the necklaces that I guess I should put up on the thing that says Texas Save the Texas Prairie, prairie Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> See, because because obviously these these two phrases they come from a from a very famous outtake yes. from the Monkeys TV yes. show of, of that they couldn't of, get straight. Yeah. Mickey kept on busting up, and it was like they just couldn't get it. <laughs> well, Mike, and, so Mike and Mickey, and and to your point yeah. before that Mike really wasn't an actor, and in fact I've heard interviews Ooh. with him where where where, where he. He, he says that that ultimately that's what drove him out of the monkeys was at Peter yeah. left. It's the be, be, well, and you, you probably can speak because you and Peter were, I think, very close, good friends. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah. but uh, from, from what Peter has said, he was frustrated about not being able to express himself musically, that, that he didn't really have a chance for that. I'm, I'm simplifying. Um, Mike, on the other hand, he just felt like uh, he he'd kind of lost his way. That uh, that that uh, well, I, th I think I, th I think the way he says it now is that he felt like he went in the wrong door. Um, and, and and Mike so, so is he... such a poet. The way Mike <laughs> speaks and the way Mike thinks, I'm still trying to figure out. But yeah, um, I and I also think that at the beginning they were, I think, led to believe that oh yeah, you're musicians, you have your own music and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Well, Mike was already writing very good songs, but then he'd bring songs to the producers and they go, well, oh, that's not a monkey song. One of the songs I do in Mickey's solo show and I have for years is Different Drum. Yeah, which, which Mike Linda wrote. Ronstadt. Yeah. That Mike wrote and gave to Linda Ronstadt. She heard it somewhere, whatever. anyway, it was a Mike Nesmith song and it, it started her career. It was a fabulous yeah. song, right? And he brought it to the producers and said, oh, listen to this song. And they went, no, it's not a monkey song. Oh, okay. So I think they were kind of led astray, you know, at the very beginning saying that, oh, you'll have, you know, musical license and, you know, you guys are all artists and music and stuff. And it didn't really turn out that way. And then, uh, yeah, anyway, it didn't turn out that way. Yeah. Well, well, headquarters, well, they finally took the reins. Yeah, actually, ironically, my two favorite albums from from the Monkees are mm -hmm. uh, are Headquarters and then Justice. Um, now I take that back. My third favorite uh, it, is Good Times. That 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 was you know, that obviously Good that is that is an amazing so... album. But but oh it's I mean obvi obviously that one is different. I I like yeah. Headquarters and Justice because those are the really the only two albums that is just the four monkeys. Yes. You know, that, 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 that's, that's all them. And so I, I, I like those because you really get to hear what they can do, who they are and what they can do. Um, but, but good times. Oh, I mean, that, that's, that's an incredible album. <laughs> what, one other thing that I want, that I did want to, uh, I did want to get in while, while I had you here as well was sure. now this, this is substantially late. It's substantially, sub substantially uh, uh, behind because I believe it was way back in April, but I did want to express happy belated birthday wishes Aww. to you. Um, you. So, so there, there, there's, there's your happy belated birthday Aww. wishes. I, I, yeah, my, I'm, birthday, I'm sure my birthday this year was a zoom meeting with my brother and my nieces and my sons and everybody, and we just all zoomed together, and that was it. <laughs> you know, it's okay. It's okay. But well, thank you, I appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, you know, because because you know, again, because of the the COVID situation here, I've I've been I've been part of several drive-by celebrations. You know, where people line up in their cars and they drive yeah. by with signs and balloons cool? and waving and yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's it's fun to do those. But but uh, you know, it's uh, obviously a lot of people who have celebrated special events during this time they don't get a lot. So so I wanted to give you give you a birthday well, shout. Well, I think out. about all the kids that are graduating high school and graduating. Especially high school, because that's that was always just you know yeah. graduating high school is a big deal, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, not being able the, to do the whole thing, you know, they've been the, doing the whole, it. They didn't do proms. They didn't, you know, they didn't get any of that. Yeah. No, they didn't. And you know what makes us, you know, it, it in in my mind, it's like yeah, and it makes us tougher and it makes us better and get over it. You know, it's like I, you know, people say, how are you feeling? Oh, no, so good. Well, you know, don't tell anyone because nobody cares, you know. Mm -hmm. and, but the thing is, is that you just, you get stronger. I'm, my brother actually sent um, a thing by email to me and everybody in the family. And it was, it was a, well, this is getting a little dark, but anyway, it was talking about someone born in the 1900s. Okay, mm -hmm. now my grandmother was born 1898, so that's basically the same. And it goes down and it talks about all the things somebody born in like 1900 
experienced over the years. World War I, the Great Depression, World War II, the Korean War, the, the Spanish flu, all of this stuff. And it kind of put it in perspective because we're like, oh, I've got to stay home and I can't go out, and, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. And no, yes, people are absolutely dying and stuff. But yeah. you know, it, it just makes us stronger. And it's like, get over it, you know, deal with yeah. it. Make the best that you can of the day. That's what I try to tell people is make the best of the day. You know, what can you do? I know yeah. what you can't do, but what can you do? You can do shows, you can do this, you can clean out your drawer in that kitchen that never yeah. gets looked at. You, know, you can uh -huh. reorganize yeah. the lemon. You know, I mean, there's so Use many the time things wisely. to do. Use the time wisely. Take lemons and make them lemonade. Yep. You know? Now, see this. This is where this is where I may be a little more more like like your brother uh, in 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 finding humor. Maybe where I ought not find it. But uh, I I think it. I, I I've seen a few a few humorous things shared on Facebook that that probably make me laugh harder than I should. And and mm -hmm. one of them that I saw was was that said something to the effect of whoever started this game of Jumanji, could you please wrap it up? <laughs> that's a nice one yeah i i, I kind of liken it to bizarro world which i think was the opposite of superman right yeah, it was yeah. bizarro mm -hmm. or something. it's just it's an it's unfathomable you know and and the the, the um i all i want to do is speak to unification because i don't mm -hmm. think we're as bad as people think we are so there you have it episode six the treasure of gemma I hope you've enjoyed this installment. I know I have. She is such, I, 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 just, I just love the stories that she has to tell and she is so insightful and so, so uh, just, just in tune with, with, with everything about herself. She has such a tremendously strong sense of self-identity and it is so awesome to see. What is also awesome is this, <laughs> this recording, the, Mon the Monkeys Live, the Mike and Mickey Show, the recording. This is, this is an incredible sounding recording. I keep saying that to anybody who will listen because it's true and it's not studio trickery. I saw them live in person out uh, uh, up on the stage at Mystic Lake uh, Casino up in Minnesota last year and they sounded phenomenal. It was an awesome show. I, I, just, I, I just cannot brag about it enough, apparently. <laughs> so go check it out. Check out the, the Monkeys Live, the Mike and Mickey Show. Uh, also, check out uh, what, what Gemma has to offer through her Etsy store. Check out her recordings as well because they are also phenomenal. And check out the additional episodes of my conversations with Gemma here as I see you next time from my front porch. <laughs>